Good morning, everyone. In this session, let us discuss about Gibbs algorithm. In the last session, we have worked out with Bayes optimal classifier. This algorithm is a continuation to the last session. If you have not watched the earlier video, please go back and watch that. If you want, I'll provide you the link in the i card. Please go through that and then complete this. It will be clear to you. So the Gibbs algorithm is an extension or an alternative to the Bayes optimal classifier. So the reason for taking this alternative one is the Bayes optimal classifier obtains the best performance. So that is what we have seen in the last example. But it is costly. Why? Why, why? Because we are computing the posterior probability for every hypothesis. And then we are combining the predictions of each hypothesis to classify the new instance, right? So every time we are multiplying this with the posterior probability, the prediction multiplied with the posterior probability. So hence it is becoming costlier. So hence we are going with a less optimal Gibbs algorithm. This is an only alternative to Bayes optimal classifier. Sometimes it may work better depending upon randomly the hypothesis that you are chosen. Sometimes it can be worst also. Let us see the algorithm. So the Gibbs algorithm can be defined as choose a hypothesis small h from a set of hypothesis capital H at random according to the posterior probability distribution over the set of hypothesis capital H. Now use the small h to predict the classification of the next instance. Now whatever hypothesis you have picked at random, okay, say suppose you have a set of three hypotheses or let us discuss with the help of the previous example itself. So this is the previous example that we consider for navy based optimal classifier, right? So here we have taken the posterior probabilities of three hypotheses, H1, H2, and H3. So, okay. so according to this, which one is having the best value, which is the map hypothesis H1. So randomly I pick H1. And now I will classify the new instance based on the decision of this H1 itself. So what H1 is saying, H1 is classifying the instance as positive. But what was the result that we obtained in the base optimal classifier? The new instance X was classified as a negative one, right? So like this, sometimes it may go worse also. The result may go worse also depending upon the hypothesis that you are choosing at random. So ultimately what we can conclude is the expected value of error. So usually how we calculate the error, the difference between what we have calculated minus the uh, real value. So the difference between the actual minus predicted, right? Error is always calculated as the difference between actual minus predicted value. So now that could be at most, at worst, twice the expected value of error of the Bayes optimal classifier. So that means the error that we obtain in Bayes optimal classifier will be a minimum one compared to the Gibbs algorithm. So it could be at worst twice the value. At worst, at most we doesn't know what will be the value of error. So sometimes we might choose if you doesn't want your classification to be a costlier one, but the result could be a diverse one. Okay, using Gibbs algorithm, we cannot assure. So it is purely dependent on how better you are choosing the hypothesis H. What is the random approach that you are following? What is the approach you are following to pick randomly the hypothesis H? So the performance of Gibbs is entirely dependent on that. So this is all about the Gibbs algorithm. Hope you followed this. If you have any queries, do post in the comment session. Thank you.